Well, a good morning, afternoon, or good evening, everybody. Welcome to Mech Warrior Comp slash MWO Leagues slash Blood League, the new league. Uh, I think the first one of this year, or maybe it's the second. Not too sure what's going on there, but uh, today uh, we are casting the Div C match, and I have my good friend here, Magoat. How are you, mate? Doing well, doing well. How are you, buddy? Uh, not too bad. I think my mic is a bit too loud. Hang on, let me turn it down there. Just uh, a bit of team last minute. <laughs> About two hours ago, I was literally in bed sleeping. So we're uh, just 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 catching up here at the moment. Um, what is that restarting over there? I don't know. Uh, would you quickly like to run through some basic rules for Blood League? Because you probably know them a little bit better than I do. Yeah, yeah, we are... Uh... Pretty well versed them at this point. <laughs> I'm gonna tag so, everybody on all the discords too right now while you're doing that. So Blood League is a seven v seven league. Uh, it cycles through different maps every single week. I believe we'll play every map uh, in the game though, or quick play maps, anyways. And what's unique about it is that each drop or map has a different allotment for weight classes. There's no tonnage until the fifth drop. So every drop prior to that, you'll have so many lights, so many mediums, so many heavies, so many assaults. Now what rotates is that one class will be limited to one mech in it. So like drop one for Forest Colony Snow, for example, we'll have two lights, two mediums, two heavies, one assault. And then on the next map, we'll change it to one heavy and two assaults and so on. So that that creates you know some uh, interesting diversity and overall you know planning because you can do a lot, especially with not having a weight limitation. So that'll be neat to see what the teams do with that because like obviously has the league continues throughout its cycle. You know certain metas will hash out, certain mechs will obviously uh, appear to be stronger than others uh, for certain maps, but. I think the first week, maybe the first two weeks, is going to be pretty interesting to see. I think it's good. I'm keen for 77, actually. I think it's going to be a little different. And I think the big one here, um, sure, a lot of the viewers are, uh, are aware of it, but the balance changes that have had obviously been passed through uh, and a little bit of mobility. So I don't know if uh, in what league and what division some of mech's mobility might come into play. Is that going to draw and maybe sort of force a few mechs to be more centered around for the time being? Is it going to change in, what, two and a half weeks when hopefully the next patch comes in? It's uh, going to be a strange league, I think, actually. With You don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, uh, mobility combined with the jump jets coming this month is going to make Ooh. a lot of things that aren't viable suddenly viable, mm. and people are going to have to adapt pretty quickly. Yep, and new Polar Highlands. Now, I don't know whether that features into the uh, map rotation or not later on, or maybe it will get added in, maybe it won't, but that would be... That'd be pretty nice. Uh, no, I know it was discussed, but I don't know what the uh, end result was there, so... That would also be now cool. It's, it's scheduled for week four, and Ooh, Ultimate Ghost... Here's the new one, is, then. Ooh, yeah, maybe, so maybe. He, he has said until... It looks broken. Let's say and there's some like broken map feature or something. That it's uh it's gonna be live. So Ooh. that'll be uh, that'll Ooh. be really interesting. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. That's that's actually really good. I like that. Brand new map. Everyone just get in there and work it out and just deal with it. The old is what it is. You know. <laughs> that'll throw a few spanners. I think at every division actually, even right up to Div One, all the way down to Div uh, Div C, uh, Div E, even like you know what what's going on down there. So that'll be good. I'm keen for that. Now, I think these guys are ready. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. AW is readied up. So. Just checking. Ready? All right. Well, they're ready to go. So let's get into it. We won't muck around too much. I've already uh, kept these poor dudes waiting <laughs> an extra 10 minutes because I'm too busy farting around getting ready this morning. But that's all right. I mean, where else are they going to go on a, like I said earlier, where else are they going on a Friday night at, what is it, 9, 10 p.m. in the U.S.? Not very. You have to remember, not everybody's as old as we are. I think some of these guys might be. <laughs> <laughs> just, just quietly. Now, 
Who do I? Uh, well, I'm on the blue team side, so I'll sort this side out right. when we, when we get into it. Team two side. Ooh. Okay, so team one, we have a Arctic Cheetah, Veagle, Vulcan, Summoner, Firestarter, Nike, and an Annie 1P. So I'm just going to have a quick look through the builds here while you do the other side. Ooh, I guess. interesting. Ooh, okay. uh, so the other side is a Dervish, a Nike, a K9, a Paper Eagle, an Annie, a Rifleman, and a Wolfhound. Um, they are heavy Daka. So this, mm. I'm expecting some sort of... Uh, Super aggro push going on. Well, uh, uh, yeah, the aces are much more aggressive in the builds, whereas uh, I'm going to get that wrong because I'm going to say CH because that's what the damn game shows me all day. <laughs> I'm going to get this wrong all day. I can already tell. Their range. Ooh. They are pretty Ooh. much all range. Zorg, 12% right away. Jorg, not Zorg. Yep. Where's that? Oh, the Veagle, Veagle trying to cross 20%. over here. Getting absolutely 21%. shredded. Fuck. Yeah, getting annihilated here, crossing over. Very, very risky um, to head this way, actually in the open when you kind of could be going back through over the tunnel here but uh aces are not stopping they're um i don't know jorman here he's getting shredded can they can they leg him here maybe oh and aces bigs are going water side but they're mm. hamstrung by this annie that looks like he's going 32 kph so this is a uh... Their yeah, guys so in lot of, are going to have to play super passive. Got a lot of Daka here, actually. Yeah, I've just noticed he's coming through the water here. Oh, oh the Annie and with fives and tens as well. Ooh, Jesus. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of attention on two sides of the map here. Aces Wild look like they're going for a bit of a split push. And it's going to be very important on the timing here. And I don't know if the timing is all that good. The mechs that are up near the cave area are way behind. But Sir Epic Owner is down to 52% already. Yeah, but Aces Wild right side, they are bleeding armor. The guys are, that are inland are taking too long. Mm. Slowly moving. I mean, you know what? They've almost they've almost got it held over here, though, Aces. Somehow. I think because yep, yep. oh, the Annie's been so nuked. Annie's done. I think the Annie's just about dead. Yeah, Annie's almost dead there. Yep, 44%. And Aces Brawlers have somehow got into the fight. Uh, Jormunga over yep, here is... Down. Yeah, and he's down, and Jormunga is about to lose a leg and a torso. Oh, okay, he's, he's done. He's, he's He's got nothing left here now, that's for sure. There's a scrappy 2v2 two, two two brawl going on. Oh, sorry, 3v2 brawl going on over the back there. Uh, Bob gets you some don't nipples. don't want to lose that wolf found that early. That's that's going to hurt. Yep. The Irby, oh, well, K9's still alive, although the problem is now uh, with, with Cameron's here, they've got, they've got the mech advantage over the back. Now, the water fight might be where... Where Aces Wild can pull this back, I'm not sure, because these two mechs over here, Lung Butter here is, well, okay. I'm just going to have a look how dead he was, and well, he's probably dead. So they're going to uh, lose two it, quick it, mechs here. is going to pull this out. Yeah, I think Aces are, yeah. They've just, they haven't been able to convert. Uh, sorry, Camerons haven't been able to convert on the uh, Aces Lights team. Lights and Mediums over the back here. Just haven't been able to pick them out quick enough. And they have a three cap, so like they're they're mm. pretty uh, cozy right now. Yep. And here we go. The rest of the aces boys slowly rolling in here to clean up what is left. Uh, Irby is just one uh, one little nibble on the CT there. Oh, yep, he's go he goes down. Well, there you go. Oh, oh this oh, this cheat oh, is working. Oh, oh, oh this oh, cheat field gets down the meme machine over the back there. <laughs> And he's yes. going for caps. He's he's doing the right thing. Yeah. Because you've only got a night gear. Uh, well, a very slow Annie. You act tens and you act tens and fives. He's not uh, he's not going anywhere in a hurry. And Kappa is his safest cap. All right, that's. Oh, uh, well, you know what? The Kappa Dervish is, is basically a Zul is one shot. He can't really go cap anything. Because fairly certain that the Arctic Cheetah will still be able to kill him. Yes, he will. Okay. Okay. It's going to be interesting. I don't know how this is going to play okay, out. Exactly. Go get Theta. Go get yeah. Theta. Stuff. Well, maybe he's thinking he needs to sort of can can cancel the tickets, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Theta's kind of on the way to Gamma, right? Uh, it's on the way back, but they're going to be converging on him. By yeah. That I think Bob's going to have, uh, have oversight on Theta by the time. But by the time all this happens... Definitely, if he went Theta to Gamma, could have caused a little bit more, a little bit more of a problem. 
But on a small map like this, ee, it's a bit. Ee. I don't think it's going to happen. All right, so it looks like the gear is going to be looking for him. And he should be in optimal range once he crosses the open right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Are they, gonna, are they aware of it? Get him, get him, get him. Oh, they see him. <laughs> oh, no, he, he gets missed. Bob does not connect with the two punch there of the UX. Does not connect yet. And he's nab Theta, and now he's running back around while the Dervish does some uh, capping of the Kappa region. Oh, no, he's lost oh, the torso there. Oh, no, that's going to hurt. That's good when you get slowed that down. Fresh. What? Dude, uh, yeah, no, they all focused everybody else. They didn't even hit Bob. Yeah. They uh, hit the other guys. <laughs> Meme Machine and uh, and the Nagia. They were pump, pummel, pummeling them. But yeah, Bob just is going for a wonder. The problem is now, Stuffy Fears lost a torso. That hurts on on the cheetah. It's it's a lot slower now. Yeah. Well, so rather than go through the tunnel, he's going over. He could, he could take out Zul right, here. He could actually I'm take out Zul. It's, it's, it's entirely possible. Zul stripped. What? Yep. Oh, okay. I'll tell you, if you had to taken him out... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not enough. Because you do have uh, Nike uh, over the back here doing some capping as well. Twisted, dude. Don't give your back to him. What are you doing? Uh, he should have died right there. He was lucky. Mm. Yeah, I think he's realized now that the uh, the ticker counter is just not going to work out. It's time to go and commit seppuku. He's dancing. He's dancing. I'd be going. I'd be going for Zul if it was me. Try and get nah, him out of the game, done. but oh, unfortunately, that doesn't happen. Damn. All right, I'm gonna... still, dude, I, I'm laughing about this fresh Annie, like... It's just, yeah, farming. Now, you want to run through the damage numbers while I do some uh, updating here? Yeah, yeah, sure, leaderboard. sure. We will start with uh, Team 2 side, Ace is Wild. We'll go straight down the list. We had the Night Gear pulling out 690, the Annie 613, the Rifleman 620. So those guys put a lot of freaking DPS out, and their light pack didn't do a whole lot. I mean... The Wolfhound, like I called, was way too early of a death, 15 damage. The Vapor Eagle, he got shredded crossing, 55, and then both, you know, 200, 300 for the remainder. Uh, that was that was a that was a tricky move by the Light Pack because they're definitely delayed, but you know it is what it is. And for uh, HD, it's a pretty even spread. The Arctic Cheetah got the high damage on them, so mm. no one. The Annie, only 285, you know, that, that definitely hurts. Uh, but he was focused pretty early. Yeah, he got focused real hard, real early. In, and in range of the UAC-10s, that, that's what hurt the Annie yeah. the most. Uh, getting in, yeah. getting in, within range of uh, some serious DACA, uh, DACA punishment. That's, that's what's going to happen. But a good drop, a good start, and there we go. Oh, no, am I buzzing again? Oh, no. Oh, jeez. I thought I'd fixed all that. Uh, just, just a slight buzz. God damn. Uh, sorry if I'm buzzing again, guys. I did stream the other day, actually, and it was fine after I changed everything around, and I thought I'd fixed it. Let me just change a couple of other things here very quickly. Yeah, do we need to swap these guys around? I'm just... Uh, no, no. Uh, you will swap them, drop three. Oh, okay. Uh, the drop two is Caustic Valley then. Yep. Okay. Caustic Valley. Now, what drop two is two lights, two mediums, one heavy, and two assaults this time around. Again, with no max tonnage. Yeah, that, that gives, especially on Caustic, because, you know, you have, there's a cliche, you know, option to frickin' learn, uh, which, you know, everybody in the back of their mind kind of expects, but on Caustic specifically, with that 
no tonnage limit. There is a lot of different random shit you can do. Actually, I should flick over to the map strip. Sorry, while these guys are trying to work out this microphone nonsense in the in the chat here, maybe you can do some quick map strating here. I'm a little bit off my casting game today. Not paying attention. I'm trying to sort out these audio nonsense. Team one's ready already. Yeah, these guys tend to not muck around too much. So what do you think, Caustic, we're weird. going to see? Team one, team two here. With the, the two assaults, I think, is the key point. What do you do with them? So you have a few options, especially with, you know, things like the uh, light gauze, ERPPC, D-Link uh, for the IS side. So you could you could play range, you know, on the back lines, um, extending even further, you know, up into these, these areas. Uh, you could hold Caldera. You can push through the Caldera, like uh, from either side, really. Uh, I I think Team Two honestly is the stronger side, uh, in my opinion, just from the terrain advantage, specifically in the back lines. But uh, this 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 map is a little crazy, so I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit. That's caustic, isn't it? Really, it's a little a little bit all over the joint at the best of times. And in the middle div, you don't know whether they're going to try and range or, or, or get more aggressive. Case yeah, in point, yeah, like... that last game, right? You don't, you don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, we just need to wait for these guys then to... get set up. Yeah. Although I'm not really... Are there, is there even a time limit? I'm guessing there probably is a rule in there somewhere because it's based off past ones. So, But these guys don't muck around. Yeah, Very much. Oh, they're all ready to go. All right, well... They're ready. I'm ready. Go. So we swap them on drop three. Okay, cool. I can work with that. So I hope everyone is enjoying the cast out there today. Uh, first one, obviously, for the season. There's a shitload more tomorrow uh, in... Oh, I'm going to say about 18 hours or something from now. It's like 6 a.m. my time and it's midday. So yeah, it'll be about 18 hours. Hopefully a lot more casts. Um, I think it's afternoon um, US time zone and then evening in the EU. So, which basically means sparrow farts for Australians. And well, I ain't getting up that early to cast guys. <laughs> Yo, hey, hey, Mr. Cauldron. What? Can you get them to add grid squares to the mini map? Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Ah, that'd be, yeah, okay. That's, you know, <laughs> really? <laughs> I've wanted that for so long, dude. I can't explain it. That'd be so nice. All right, I am on red side. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll go to the blue team. We have a Bloodass, Veagle, uh, Commando, Madcat, Black Widow, Firestarter, and Vulcan. I am going to suggest... Well, not really. I'm going to tell you. The blue team here are uh, going attack push. Yeah, I'm not too terribly sure what red team is doing. So they got a K9, Wolfhound, Ooh, yeah. a Cyclops, Slepnir, Madcat, B, a Dervish, and a Linebacker. So they definitely could be doing... Like an aggro called Caldera push. I almost said Cauldron. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a bit mixed, isn't it? Amounts. It's a Dakar, but there's some ERP yeah. in there. It's a little mixed. Yeah. Oh, we do have the linebacker. What's on him again? I can't. Oh, I threw him six over the back there. Oh, no. That... I think Zul is just going to play the range game, and then everyone else is going to be super aggro too. Oh, dude. Are these guys going to meet in the middle and just have a big powwow? Maybe. There's no... I'm just trying to get scouting. right up high here to have Ace a have a good look. Though. Yeah. Well, I mean, Aces basically control the middle right now, you know? I mean, they can just tap Theta here and will not... Well, they don't really have to move, actually. Yeah, but they don't know that CH has given that up. That's they true. They might now that Meme Machine, you know, can pop tart and see over, but they're, uh... Yeah. I'm watching a lot of just, just, just fire exchanging going on here. That's pretty much... They everyone's just sort of set... setting up, you know? Oh, it looks like... Uh... That Wolfhound needs to go to Kappa. They can get a three cap and then they can just fucking chill. There's no need for them to do anything. Oh, no, no, it's on, dude. Both of them pressing W at the same time. It's like these guys are on comms together. Oh, but they're Cyclops in another position. Oh, no. Cyclops. <laughs> Cleaned up. Cyclops completely alone here. Completely out the front. He's getting legged. He's getting CT'd. Oh, and he did. Oh, he did. He did. He real dead. Oh, oh God. <laughs> wow. 
A little bit ahead here. There's a scrappy fight. Not Bob has charged in with the uh, with the, with the poopacker in there. The, the mad cat over the back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. CH has Try really good uh, a line for this, so yeah. To receive. We got a dildo though. Uh, Skippy Nibbles is now a Skippy dildo over the back there. Well, kind of in the middle now. But geez, look at the percentages. They are so yeah. low <laughs> on Aces Wild here. So low. There's three mechs under yeah, forty percent almost. It's a it's an There's absolute scrap fight here. Bob's got one. They should have just held Caldera and, and been happy. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, Aces had had the better spot here, believe it or not. Like, yeah, they didn't need to charge in there at all. Uh, Lung Butter here is nearly dead as well. Now, Four Founders lost his arm, but a couple of quick kills here. I mean, you got Stuff Your Fear in the Commando. Very dangerous. No, hang on, no. Tech gets a kill there. I think that we'll, is... Well, found... Again, he just needs to disengage oh, and go, go going cap. down there. Yeah, that's it now. I just, there's nothing left on Aces Wild that is just going to be able to do enough. Quick enough. Oh, no. We'll found down. Yeah, that's that's it. it. Yeah, that's it now. A very quick return fire. Uh, that's from Highland of Dragoons. Very quick, actually. Look at all the dead bodies here. Look at this. It's just... Yeah, what the, what it's, the hell happened it's here? In a, it's in about one square, I reckon. It's about one square of map space. <laughs> That's where it all happened. And, and I'm counting five UAVs between the teams. So, like, they were... Uh... Oh, I can't see the UAVs for some reason. I don't know why. They don't... Oh, they don't show up. Oh, they do on the minimap, actually. Yeah. One, yeah, two, yeah. three, four, five. Yeah. There's a few UAVs still up. That's for sure. I feel like maybe I only need, like, one or two UAVs, really, and... To skill the rest of the most survival you can fit. Oh, look at that. That's just the barren wasteland of dead uh, dead mech on mech <laughs> action there. Jesus. Alright, damage numbers. What do we have there? We have got who was the big winner? 589 of the Brawl Eagle. Wow. Nice. Good job, dude. Yeah. The Commando was almost 500. Mm. That little freaking shitty mech all right yeah, pain in the ass isn't it that thing god damn man uh surprisingly the uh the cyclops did not do the lowest damage for aces wild that would have been the vapor eagle which he could have also you know held some range so that was a real interesting response uh overall decision making by them mm, mm, mm. Uh, yeah. but otherwise i mean damage is pretty spread between the teams so it's, uh, it's overruled i mean yeah ch a bit higher you know they killed more mechs makes it makes a bit more sense there but Aces kind of did push into a disadvantage a little bit. And they kind of, kind of didn't need to. Now, let me bring up some maps about this. So you can do a quick, a quick doodling while I set up for the next map. Oh. It's Canyon Network. Cool. And they do swap teams. Oh, yeah. I'll do all that as well. Uh, For the map strat, I, I mean, there's not a really a whole lot to, uh, <laughs> yeah, to describe. Uh, CH took the early strong positioning. Why is this not changing? Uh, it does they take a the second. Right tank, you yeah. know, they, they, they had an early two cap. And then they had a decent line going on. Cameron's Highlanders set up to receive a push, which is uh, pretty intelligent of them. You know, they, they shifted right pretty early on, and Aces Wild gave it to them. They fed right in. So uh, there was just lots and lots of dead stuff all over here. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, that, that spells it out. There's much more to say there. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll roll on in then. The Canyon Network. The new one. But this will be fun. Yeah, I, I like these changes, actually. Uh, initially, there was some concern uh, by comp players because, obviously, it wasn't focused for comp players. Um, but outside of the Theta Central Spire, um, and your comp tower is going to be missed. You know, that was, uh, that's been there forever. But overall, I, I appreciate the uh, increased sight lines. You know, it encourages... Uh, 
a particular style of play, but it doesn't discourage a team from being aggressive, you know, with a push either because of the changes uh, that were done, you know, to allow passages between the different areas. I like the maps with the ramps now, like just the map areas, just the accessibility. I love it. Like, yeah, it's, it's, fan. it's nice. It's really good. Just gives you some options. And these teams like traditionally like to get pretty aggro. So the changes, they, that leads to a lot more aggro. I don't think we'll see as many Epsilon pushes though anymore. And we sort of, we used to sort of see the, you know, push around this side from one team or, or the other, but because you've got so many more like little, little ramp, oh no, this map has been updated actually. I, I thought it hadn't. You got all these little extra ramps and little bits of cover, extra rampages over here. Another one here as well. Like it's just a lot more, even up here actually at the back. Yeah, there, there. there's, there's another one there. The past, there's all kinds of accessibility that makes. Yeah. I I think the Epsi push will still have a place, but it's going to take a higher level of coordination for teams to pull it off instead mm. of being able to just walk around a corner and be like, oh hey, we're here. Yeah. Oh hello, we're here. We're going to blast everything. Yeah. Because you can just get up a lot more, a lot easier, in a lot more positions on the map too. So. Yep. Yeah. I, I'm, I think there's even a bloody ramp here too. I had not actually 100 percent on. I haven't played ca the new canyon all that much, actually. Um, but there is definitely a lot of options. Oh, you got the other option here too. To run back upwards, nice and easily now too. So yeah, uh, and here too, actually. I think there's another somewhere somewhere around around this area. There's another and here, yeah. You know, there's oh there's, yeah, yep, yep. It is super accessible. And then there's all the freaking bridges everywhere, you know. So it's not you should never be caught out. Hmm. Uh, if you're familiar, you know, with the changes. Yeah. I think it's going to... Oh, look, I think it's good. I think it'll be good for comp, especially. Um, it is good for quick play, but like a, like a lot of things, it takes the play base a little while to work it all out. But that's okay. And I think these guys are... Uh... Yep. Both, are, both yeah. are green. Oh, shit. I hit the wrong button there. I'll just launch it while I sort the OBS side out in a second. And off to Canyon Network, the new one we go. I think this is the first time we've seen it played in a league too. I don't even think there's been a demo, so. No, no, this is the first time uh, that this will be live. Hell yeah, let's do it. What do you think, chat? What do you think is going to happen? I got my ideas. I'm sure Goat's got his ideas. Let's see if they uh, meet somewhere in the middle, perhaps. Interesting. Okay, so I am on team two side. <clears throat> okay, I'll have a team one. Uh, why is my team overlay popping up now? It shouldn't happen. Okay, so I have a Annie Wolfhound flea bags, Summoner Mad 2C8, Beagle, and a Rothman 2C. Can have a quick look at the builds while you go on the other side. Yeah, this is uh this Ooh. is interesting uh Ooh. trade mix, honestly. Um they have the the PPC Vapor Eagle, ER Large Grasshopper, Ooh. Daka Mad Cat, ER Large Annie, Firestarter, I didn't check that one yet. Daka Summoner, and then the Commando. So this is this is some strong trade mix with Ooh. equally strong uh mid range capability. So okay. Hey, aces are all range. All basically, except for the light. That's it. So interesting. Interesting. Maybe maybe they're expecting uh the dragoons here to push, but they're not. They wasted no time they're not. Capo too. That, that was a good move. I would have liked to see some scouting before the lights just full committed, but uh that was pretty good. Yeah, so look at here, aces are setting up. They they're expecting they're expecting a push actually, but I think I think maybe both teams were expecting the other guy to do the other thing than what it looks like yep, they're actually I, going I to so. do. Yeah. Aces, they do have a solo flea. I'm not even going to say his name. Uh, <laughs> Lots so of I, numbers. I'm wondering if he's about to get caught out by this this light duo by Comp Tower. Maybe. I'm just sort of watching the main fight here. I am watching the minimap. So maybe... Nope, nope. Uh, well, I don't know. Legend of uh, Keldus taking a fair bit of damage there, actually. Um, Outlaw Hunter, CH though. CH is working on a back cap, so they're going to have... 
And they only sliver capped home cap, so they're gonna have a three cap here shortly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with, well, with two mechs in a, in a little pack like that, you know, you're gonna cap that point pretty quickly and get the advantage back in your favor. Now, Ooh, Bob is getting hunters. up real. <laughs> Bob getting up real close here. Yeah. Real close in the face of uh, the outlaw hunter here in the UX summoner, but UX summoner but taking quite a bit of damage. Has, he he's got an open right torso already, so he he needs to start playing a little a little. Very smaller. careful now. Yeah, he's almost you know one touch away from losing that torso. One good peep burst, yep. and he's gone. I saw those lights have a little bit of a play over the back there, but they bailed out. So we still have Cameron Thailand and still have a three cap here. Still. Although aces are now sort of heading back to stop it. But oh, yeah, Alwa Hunter in the open here. Is he going to get caught out or not? I don't know. Yes, he loses a torso there. That's actually, that's pretty big. And uh, the uh, Mad Cat 2B here for Skippy Nipples is also uh, a little open on the torso. Going to have to be very, very careful. Quick They're gonna the... have to Synergist allow down. that Vapor Eagle into reposition and just start punishing. Uh, it's almost I feel like Ace is just gonna have to come around this corner and just just do a big push around the corner and just start focusing and get some mechs off the field really quickly. But they're gonna have a big problem. It's now four caps. Oh no, it's not quite four caps. No, they've got back yeah, gamma. Just, Sorry, Ace got back gamma. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just swapped. Which they're about to get Theta again. Mm. <laughs> It's yeah, a lot of lot of lot of cap exchangery program going on here. Azul is getting absolutely oh, oh. hammered, getting stuck there. I, I think he got stuck on something, or not sure what happened over here. But he lost a lot of uh, a lot of armor really, really, really quickly there. But look at the look at the percentages overall. They're all there's a few weak mechs on both teams this here at the a, moment. A forty percent mad cat though is kind of concerning. So they they need mm. to freaking uh, call that out and tell them to chill. One butter here. Tech is still reasonably fresh. Epic Owner's still pretty fresh too, actually. Although, oh, hang on. Gibby Nibbles lost the torso, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Even though it doesn't show here on the uh, lovely Mechdoll chart, he has actually lost the... Has he lost the torso oh, or not? I can't no, tell. No, it's, he still has oh, it's it. it's still there? Okay, the game's bugged out. That's strange. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's and very... And it's still showing two by two. Oh, it is too, yeah. I don't know what the hell's going on there. Uh, now, I've got Outlaw Summoner here. Oh, sorry, oh, Outlaw Hunter in the Summoner. Strike. Getting hammered. Oh, Annie, Annie is down, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I just saw that. I'm, I think my UI the is actually bugged is out. I'm not seeing things. Everywhere down to three AC twos. Oh, um, so epic owner just Bob took a. safe, especially if he's in a standard engine. I'm gonna watch this fight in the middle here. I think this fight in the middle Bob's may spell the game out. Because uh, stuff your fear here in the commando is kind of weak. A good burn, a good burn would and take. Emerald out... needs to. There he goes. I don't yeah, know why yeah. he needs dropped. to get in the fight. Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave that big fight for the second. Although, no, the lights are all backing out now. They've had enough. Still even tickets. It's now just two apiece because they're cancelling each other's caps the back and forth. Still, and... Still, oh, there's a big airstrike the on Bob here. There's a big airstrike on Bob here. What happens? Oh, look at that. Oh, nice oh Meme Machine down to 34% from uh, mid high 40s. And he's got no arms left. That's not. That's not I think Lung Bear is about to go down. Uh, he's Lung taking that. Oh yeah, yeah, he's yep. yep. The Kurai that gets a, him yeah, down. An yep. odd decision to make to take that angle. The problem is, yeah, Me Machine got no arms left. Literally, he's armless. And right, now is rotating out. The game is in a weird spot now. Cameron's Cameron's had a lot of hurt mechs, but all of a sudden it's now Aces who have a buttload of hurt mechs. Yeah, oh, all... the Firestarter just deleted the flea. Absolutely deleted him. One yep. alpha. Where was that? Oh, oh, he was legged, I think. Ah, oh, I see what happened. No wonder he got picked apart. That sucks. That <laughs> the flea with no legs. He's no flea at all. Uh, the Firestarter. I mean, he he has an open leg, but otherwise he is. He's fresh as can be for a light at this point. Oh yeah, game. yeah, he's pretty fresh actually. Although Tamerlan in the uh, in the Wolfhound is also quite fresh too. Still has all six medium pulses. Hasn't lost anything yet. A little bit of armor, but not not too much. Oh no, thirty five percent the mag. Yeah. Game. Well, Bob and, and uh, Kukurai here. He still has just getting both hammered, torsos, dude. Both they, arms. What just, is going on? Look at not Bob here. He's, there's, there's not a, there's not a, oh, there he goes. Oh, there he, gets, there he, he goes. Oh, that was an even <laughs> trade. <laughs> they killed each other at the same time. That trigger happiness. All right. Epic Owner is now making some plays. 
Yep. As fast as he can. Ooh, gets him down. Look at that. A one two there from nah, uh, nice. Tech and Epic. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Commando up uh, the bum of a summoner. That's 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 not what you want. Oh, and he goes gets him down. Yeah, that's that that's, should be game. Yeah. yeah, I think that is game now, definitely. I don't know though, if if the Wolfhound plays smart, Cameron's mechs are really hurt. And the Annie's not gonna outcap him, right? Oh hang on. The Firestar has actually been legged here. I didn't realize this. Yeah, he can the Wolfhound can just bounce. Yeah. And go get go get their home cap. He's just going to be careful Go now not to around. get hit by three different angles, which is kind of what's happening right now. He... Good. And look at all these little extra ramps here. Have a, look, have, have a look at this. You can dive the lower ground. You can come back oh, up yeah, to the high ground great. again. Like, look at that. But he's deciding to walk towards the Vapor Eagle, buddy. Had you previously drop it down to that trench, you'd be dead because you can't go anywhere. Now you can do something. Oh, he's one touch on that torso now. The Wolfhound. Oh, there we go. Clips him out and it gets taken down. Oh, there's a busted up Rex here. Oh, oh. oh. Look at that. that Stuff your fear is one touch. If one medium pulse burn would have killed him <laughs> anywhere. Oh, run through the damage numbers, man. Yeah, let's uh, let's see what they got. Ooh, six seventy three out of that year large Annie. That was that was a you know junkyard. Traditionally, you don't see an Annie in junkyard, but that's not a bad position for it either because it can just stand there and freaking tank all yeah. day long. You know, and because of the angles and the visible terrain, I mean, it should win almost all the trades. Vapor Eagle did pretty well too, at 500 damage. Mad Cat, that Mad Cat, who I thought was gonna die early, almost got 500 out too. So, well, I mean, technically job. on my screen he was, but he wasn't, and then he was halved, and then he wasn't yeah. halved, and no one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not Bob with the PPC Marauder, you know, 685. That is, a, uh, that's, that's pretty good considering, you know, where he was playing and the angles he was forced to take, you know, against, uh, Cameron Highlanders. Yep. That was, uh, he was up the front pretty, pretty close to, uh, yeah. kind of where you don't want to be, but Hey, make it work. You make it work. Right. Very nice. Well, we've got uh, what the Highlander Dragoons or Cameron's Highlanders, whatever the hell's going on with the naming down there. Uh, have won two drops now, two aces, one. And uh, where are we off to? Rube. Ooh, Rube Light Oasis. And the teams stay the same. Okay. For Rube Light, uh, which, is, which is, this is interesting to me because Rube Light has always been like a super freaking sketchy capping game in 8v8s anyways. Mm. Um, Kappa and Epsi are... Fuck those cap points. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> uh, so for Rube, <laughs> week one, you have one light, two mediums, two heavies, two assaults. So the decisions the teams have to make is, you know, are they gonna commit to taking pseudo lights, you know, to assist the light? Are they gonna take all traders, you know, all mid range and let the light just like run around and get back caps and whatnot? You know, it's it's a uh... This map being as big as it is greatly rewards teams that understand the angles, you know, and take the proper positioning. And so the dirty, dirty hitboxes that are invisible. Yep. <laughs> as I found out a couple of weeks ago, you can see an entire mech. He can see you, but neither <laughs> of you can shoot each other. <laughs> Very uh annoying couple of spots right, i didn't even know about some quick. of these either but drink. Drink. Yeah. yeah no worries so we have 7v7 uh and on Rubelite, it's going to be quite interesting you would imagine the usual well as usual we'll get the button wrong usual cap here on the home caps and you have obviously your edge cap if you want to go and do it early although what you will find uh team two is a little bit easier you can get Quickly up to Theta and cap it ever so slightly quicker than the blue team. But uh, but comparatively, the blue team can actually take the high ground here and also deny you from the cap. So you can have a little bit, a little bit of an early Theta play. Um, just depends obviously how it plays out the games, but the, what makes they bring early. It's all about speed if you want to do that early Theta cap, and then you can apply some corner pressure. FC is very much. Very, very open with lots of areas to be shot at and from. But at the same time, there's also little bits of cover all around it as well. So 
an interesting one generally not too hotly contested uh you'll tend to see more more at kappa just because it is closer from the team one side you look at kappa it's a long it's a oh, sorry epsilon it's a long way away for both teams um it's almost like you kind of want to maybe divide the map up into do, do this you know this is the this is the area you want to be controlling here um as team two if you can get theta early and conversely the same that you want to be put it down this way and control that if you're team one hello but these guys they're pretty aggressive we know that we might see some guys set up here might see some guys set up here here and potentially over here maybe someone over here later a bit hard to say and you can also do some mid ground actually do some mid ground antics um on here as well and there's another ridge you can go over here if they're going to play that mid-range-ish uh, sort of type of game. But we'll find out eventually when these guys uh, get to the ready-up point and get in there. Um, <clears throat> please let I us will know. I say, though, that Epsi in particular can be... What the hell did I just click? Oh, can be a real heartbreaker for either team. Mm. Uh, you can overcommit and get caught it's, from a thousand meters away without realizing. Yeah. <laughs> and get really screwed. And Team One actually, I believe, has a slight advantage in supporting their Epsi game. Um, because these ramps are very easily accessible. Uh, and they don't have to cross over the open, you know, as this line follows. They can just take this, they can drop, and then they're here, ready to trade either way, you know, to defend, you know, their their light game going on mm -hmm. at Epsi. Absolutely. Well, I think these guys are nearly ready. I think. Good, you know what? I don't even have to hurry up the lower divisions. It just happens. Always, always good fun to cast. These guys especially too. They know what's going on. And they've been at war for, I don't know, however many law years there are in this game. <laughs> these guys have been duking it out every season in every comp that I think I've cast for the last three and a half, four years or something. Yeah, they have a good time. Uh, they do. And, that, and that's what it's about, right? Having some fun, just, you know, they're probably grabbing a beer. I mean, everybody else is, right? Grab a beer, yep. shoot some mechs, have some fun. And, you know, you take home some winnings at the end of the day. You take home some winnings. And if not, well, guess what? Better than running in a circle like a dog sniffing its bum in quick play. Now, these guys are ready to go. So, let's go do it with them. Now, can Aces pull up a drop win here and send it towards drop five? I think so. I yeah, hope so. I, th I think it's definitely possible. Mm. Uh, they, they definitely had a better overall cohesive trade game on Canyon, so. Yep. Sure. Yeah, never mind. I'm on blue team. I will zoom to the red team. I think I'm on blue team. I went too far. Oh no, now I'm lost in the clouds. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I actually hate when that happened. Okay. Got a Veagle, Mad Cat, Vulcan, uh, Black Widow, Annihilator, Fleabags, and NTG. The old night, yeah. I have a quick look nice. at these builds. Right. We've got an Executioner, Commando, Ooh. Annie, Warhammer, Vapor Eagle, Vulcan, Night Gear. So I am expecting lots of trades uh, from the Cameron's Highlanders. The Night Gears, AC2s, Annie's ER Larges. We've got a mixed bag Warhammer. here too. Similar to you guys, I think mixed bag. Yeah, both sides. DACA, DACA PPC, yep. ER PPCs. These guys are coming to trade. Yep. Although Aces have a Black Widow with Ultra 5s as opposed to, well, I mean, you can't really put AC2s on it because it kind of wouldn't work. Well, not for its tonnage anyway, but interesting. Yeah, I, I think uh, it looks like the Dragoons are slightly longer range overall. But that's it. Only slightly. Because if uh, Ace Wild get up in their face with the uh, Mad Cat and this Black Widow, it's it could not go too well quite quickly. Oh, hang on. I tell you what, I can Hang tell on. that Cameron Highlanders have put some time in practicing. Yep. Tech drive truck knows where he's going every single drop, like right away. Mm -hmm. And they're getting eyes on, and they're getting lines on quickly, and shooting. 
Yep. Now, aces are spread out. They, they do have the longer ranges, but uh, they're taking a little bit of time to get into the, I guess, more range commanding type of positions. Meanwhile, Cameron's have moved up pretty aggressively here um, over on Kappa. That's on Kappa, quite yeah. interesting. They yeah. got that early Theta lead completely uncontested, too. Mm -hmm. you know, that's not something you see often. Yeah, I was saying earlier while you were uh, getting a drink that uh, it, Kappa is, sorry, Theta is pretty important. And here we go, Amarok here. Walks around a corner nope. into three mechs for uh, yep, of Ace's Wild. right away. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> now they know. Oh, hang on. I'm in the, in the poo brown air there. They now know, by way of this UAV here, uh, Cameron's now know exactly where Ace's Wild are. And Legend of Kelda picks around the corner there and goes from uh, fresh down to 84% immediately. And Meme Machine here yeah, getting slapped too. Oh, this isn't good. good. Oh, Meme Machine! Meme Machine Sorry. getting caught absolutely out of position there against the wall. He was backing up and didn't realize that he was stuck there and gets no, taken out. Gone. He dead. He dead. Completely dead. This time. Uh, this life oh, shit. There's a little fuck down on there. Fight that. Down by Ooh. Kappa is Ooh. starting to heat up. Oh, hang on. No, Dromunga just shut down. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this oh, is so buddy. bad for Aces now. To them. Oh. oh, no. But. Stuff your fear needs to get out of there too. He, yeah, he's the, oh no, Drawmonger shut down a second time. Oh, because he oh he's been torsoed. Oh, now no, he gets CT'd. That's it. Oh no, and the fleas goes down the too. That's, oh. it. that's the game. Shit, yeah, that's the game. I, I can't. Cameron's need to just just freaking play small now and maintain the cap lead. Four stages. Wow. Wild push, and that's it. That was fast and very very furious there. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm actually surprised. I think their uh, Jorman and the Fleas should have pulled back just a little bit into their team's firing line to, so they could help them out a little bit, you know? Lung yep. Butter is getting pushed here, though. I think Ace said, well, we've got to make something happen and we've got to do yeah, a quick... Yeah, he could die. Like, that, that's, yeah. a, that's a fair sacrifice, you oh, know? shit. Yeah, Lung Butter goes down there. Um, Stuff Your Fear is actually stuck! He's stuck on the rock here in the commando, literally just it... hopping up and down on the same spot. Oh, no. Oh, no. And, hang on. Hang on, he gets away? Yeah. Are you joking? No way. <laughs> no way. Get out of here. You've got to be kidding 21%. me, man. That's crazy. He's man, basically he's, got he's stuck. He's safe with now. Yep. Wow. And Kokorai is getting shot from the front and the back. Shut down. He's, yep, just a quick look here. It. You can see where the mechs are on the map. Uh, Cameron's Highlands are just really, really nicely spread out here now. Like, we've got, just got angles everywhere. 360 degrees yep. almost of angles right now. And uh, forcing Aces to move up here. Getting more crossfire. They're super hurt, super weak. The Mad Cat Azul here has unfortunately uh, lost one of his arms here. So he's almost achieved dildo status, but not quite. Not Bob getting I shot in the ass now by Blue Balls. Oh, I wouldn't this... even trade if I was Cameron's. I'd let their Pop Tarts, you know, do mm. Pop Tart things. Oh, look at that. Synchronized, the synchronized swimming drop down there from uh, Cameron's Highlanders. They're preparing <laughs> for, the, for the Olympics. Here we go. Tokyo 2021, is it? I think it's this year. I can't remember. But this is not this is not going well at all. Not Bob knows what's happening now. They have to be behind him. They're all just laying into Bob right now. Bob gets the taken Gunner out here. Is ready to die too. Yeah, this is it. Mm, this is it. And uh, looks like Lung Butter was the uh, sacrificial lamb to this slaughter here. The slaughter of Aces Wild. Oh lord, that was rough. That was a rough drop. I'm gonna say that was a pretty rough drop for Aces there. Otherwise, they've been pretty close. Yeah, that, that was a pretty Tech decisive is very one. fresh. They, they capitalized fresh. on every mistake exactly as they should have. Mm. Wow. Like shutting down your lights in a firing lane. Very well played by Cameron's there. They'd practice this map, I think. Definitely practiced. Look at the oh, damage numbers. Oh, no. Ooh. Meme Machine. Double D. <laughs> yeah, Meme Machine getting taken out there. Oh, dear. That's rough. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So the Annie Sir Epic Poner at 527 damage. Uh, the XE 450. Everybody else is pretty even. Uh, the Night Gear put some work in from the other side, as did the Annie. They, you know, Aces Wild. They definitely tried, but I think they recognized pretty early that they were uh, they were gonna have an uphill battle. Yeah, I th it's almost the light fight a cap a little bit where. Yeah, they just, the Cameron's, uh, sorry, the um, Aces guys just needed to, to pull back a little bit to get the help of their team. And that, I mean, you could have actually taken out a couple of lights there. Potentially. Definitely. Maybe not, but maybe, you know. 
Now, let's flick over to the map strat there so you can actually draw a little bit of what maybe could have happened if it went slightly differently. We're off to uh, Terra Therma next. Ooh, one of my favorite maps, actually. I really that is my Terra. actually favorite map. Yeah, I love it. I love playing it. I love it. I really do. Now, I need to swap them over too, don't I? Uh, yep. App strat is up there for you, mate, so you can... Uh, yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, do that. I'll move these guys around. So, early on, uh, Cameron's, you know, they very quickly took, you know, the positions they needed to take, you know, to be able to trade. Um, they kind of conga lined early. The commando got a very fast early theta cap, which was uncontested, which is super rare. I bet they were really happy about not losing any armor on that, especially in the later more important part because ace is wild just kind of w keyed to high ground up here and they started the trade you know they, they did had some initial strong peaks you know around the corner and then the light fight happened down here um but the problem is that where they were fighting both both teams were able to shoot the lights right but mm -hmm. cameron's just had a better angle overall yeah and unfortunately because of that better angle when those lights uh had to shut down maybe you know it was a conscious decision or i don't think you know they would forget override i think one got torso uh, um lfe so yeah yeah so got he, no he's probably then, gonna, i need to shut down yeah. or i'm gonna die uh unfortunately you know when those mechs shut down they were in clear lines you know of of the uh ch mechs you know just ready to annihilate them and at that point, you know, the game was over. Uh, there was not a whole yeah. lot to do. I just feel like if we just had them guys just put back a little bit up to this end, and then that way just, ha you know, having your team just, just been able to help you out a little bit more, the game could have actually gone the other way. Yeah, yeah. Especially early. Yep. Yeah, early, or, yeah. Early, there were, there were some, some ugly trades going on uh, that I think they could have capitalized on, you know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Meme Machine just kind of getting caught in the open and fucking deleted you know yeah. that didn't help i can see where he was going i'm watching he's backing up and he's like uh oh i can't back up anymore shit what's happening who's behind me oh dear that's the map behind me <laughs> i can't go past it <laughs> i can't teleport so yeah but that's all right it happens now let's go to terra your favorite map, my favorite map. You, you, you do the drawing, man. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you have it this time. Next time, that's not the case, though. I'm taking over. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. The, the overhead map confuses the fuck out of me for Terra. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I, I'm like, and I, I'm used to like topographic <laughs> maps. You know, like I'm fucking good with it. But for whatever reason, like my eyes just bleed over this fucking gray red coloring, and I'm just like, uh, well. We go oh, over we go. here, and we there go we over go. here, look, look I'll and do, they I'll go do some, over here. Do some drawing for you here. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. right, you got, got a few spots here. You can even do a little bit of uh, where is it? Golf A business here. If you sort of roll around there, we have seen teams put various mix up in all sorts of bloody weird and wacky ass places up there before uh, for both sides. I think actually, let's see yeah, it now. Yeah, definitely. So it's possible. Uh, what, um, risky what is though. tricky here is. Do you send a light, um, which they have? So drop five is interesting. We we forgot to go over that. Oh, the mech the you, mech loadout. Yeah, you can bring yeah, yeah. Two, 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 but you are limited to four hundred twenty tons. So yeah. you, know, limit. you only have seven people, so you can't bring all eight mechs. Obviously, you know. So you have to decide where you're going to give up that tonnage. Where it's you're going to put two use. lights in, one big assault, two assaults, one light, and a, and yeah, a heavies yeah. or media, you know. So, Honey's Cap is interesting. That, I like it. With that, do you decide, you know, to risk the early Theta Cap and losing armor? Because, you know, it it is a risk on this map. Mm. Or well, both teams, too, send, actually. Both teams are Do you risk. send, you know, someone, you know, to Epsi Gamma and then hope for a back cap? You know, is it a single light? Is it a duo? Is it a light pack or you know oh, pseudo yeah. light pack? Do you do that right? Like, like you said, two fast lights. Say say from either side straight here. 
early yep. cap and you know rather than bring two assaults you bring two lights and then just go a pile of heavies and with maybe one assault backing it or something um yeah yeah and then that way you could almost from team one then just a medium over here even while your two lights are literally going off here or you could be a bit cheeky assume that team two maybe and you could do this from both sides well maybe more so from team one assume that if you these guys are going to send one mech over here you send two lights straight over to kappa and maybe get an early pick now if you get an early pick on a light and the enemies only have one light that's a lot of trouble that is a lot on, of problem a big big even problem. if they have even if they have two lights mm. on this you know terra is not small and there's lots of cover yeah. you know so losing a light at any point in the game on this map is and it uh, takes a long that, time a to go from thing. here to here like it actually takes yep. an around here if you want to avoid getting hit it takes a little while to actually get there epsilon pretty safe I mean, though from team one i will say that takes, Epsilon pretty safe it takes an 82 kvh mech you know a full minute hmm. you know to get into firing positions you know from alpha you know that that's a minute you know, a long time. In a, it actually is a long time. It doesn't sound like it, but it's a long time. Because then if you get there and there's nothing going on, you have to go back the other way. <laughs> it's yep. two minutes. Yeah. It's like, oh, guys, uh, I see nothing. Oh, the fight's over here. Uh, Fuck. Oh, uh, shit. It's 1,500 meters away. And I got <laughs> and, and, that, and that's straight. And I've got to walk around half the map to get there. So, yeah. No, it's... Uh, I, like, I like Terra. Yeah, Terra is a lot of fun. Hmm. I like it. Guessing these guys aren't too far off. Getting ready to go here. Oh, I think we're ready. These guys are all sweet talking to each other here in the chat. Oh, are they? Just the. Uh... Heck not Bob's not ready yet. Almost ready. Yep, yeah, look, right, he's worked it out, he's checked his spreadsheet or whatever, and they're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, hang on a minute, I gotta check something quickly. <laughs> I trust uh, Bearclaw to add the term butt plug into uh, the MWO League's approved words. Yeah, well done, mate. Oh. Uh, yeah. Good job, Bearclaw. Good, Good job. <laughs> Saving the world oh, one butt plug at a time. He's going to hate me when we... <laughs> I can already... <laughs> Fuck, I'll get the laugh for five minutes before he does. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Alright, I think I'm on red side. <laughs> uh, these guys do crack me up <laughs> I got in so many of these guys game oh uh, actually my, my my map is actually a little bit dark on oh, okay so the ace is wild this time I have a commando ppc veagle another mad cab e, a flea an mx90 oh what a night gear and a rifleman 2c so they brought a lot of daca okay so we have Iraq 10 Bushy uh, on the Cameron side. Uh, general other mechs, pretty standard loadouts. Three AC 10s, Ultra 5s, and UAC 10. So um, I I think this is just a brawl trade off. Although uh, Skimmy Nibbles does uh, have uh, AC 2s. So there is one. Uh, other than the Mad Cat, which is a typical 2x2, two two, Aces Wild is all, is all AC 2s. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, and AMS too. Taking heat sinker for that one. Right. Okay. Nice. Nice early cap. Completely uncontested. Yeah. Completely. But, 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 but. We say completely uncontested, but I'll tell you what, this could be a problem over here for Amarok, right at the back here for the fire starter. Because we've got the two lights here for aces already. Pretty much already at Sigma. And aces yeah, aren't yeah. even in position nope, on the there. Epsilon side nope. yet to do anything about this. Oh, dear. So they, they have a pretty smart cap game going on. Yeah. Yep. Although, although Ace of Wild, they do not want to be walking up where they are with, with the loadouts that they have. Yeah, they kind of want to be further back. Doing? Come on, guys. They're getting a bit too close here with AC2s. You do not want to be up here. You want to be back over here with uh, Legend. A little bit too close. 
But I feel like uh, Highlander Dragoons here are not going to wait. Once I realize what uh, oh, what gig has man, been played here, are super bunched up too. Mm. Like they they have no overlapping coverage. I, th I think once uh, once Cameron's realized what's going on here, what, what game is being played, this uh, dirty cap shenanigan business with AC twos, they, they just have to get aggressive on it. They're down two mix. Get in there and do something. Oh no! Oh no! Skippy nibbles. He's eating some. He's eating some shit. He's already lost an AC two there. Nearly got his arm open. Well, his arm is open. Nearly lost his arm, I should say. Oh, hang on. Maybe Ace as well are going to hold this off here. Yeah, yeah. No, CH is... They're, they're, yeah. they're asking out of that freaking choke point. Yeah. Yeah, I think if uh, Dragoons were going to do it, they should have committed and gone this, rather than this, sort of stand there, summoner, you know? Outlaw Hunter can be pop-tarting over this. Mm. And he'll, you know, every single one of those trades, you know, he wins, you know, the damage advantage. I don't know why he wouldn't be... Uh... Oh, and the flea here is just harassing, harassing uh, tech here in the bushway. He just... Just annoying him enough that it's uh, keeping him out of the fight. In the meantime, though, still three caps. That flea is oh, going to be a good bait if he pulls stuff your fear down there. Mm. Oh, Mean Machine here overextending a little bit again early, taking a little bit of damage, sitting at 69. He's very close to having his arm open. You know, and, and, and you can't do that in the Rifleman. It doesn't have the armor for it. No, it doesn't. Oh, a nice little airstrike on the uh, on the Ace Wild team here by uh, by the Dragoons. Very nice little strike, actually. And now, when Mean Machine's arm is now open, you're going to have to play a little bit more passive now. Has to be a little bit careful. He can go, you know, what, kind of 300 quicker. meters back, you know, on some slightly elevated terrain and still have angles, you know, on that oh. on that area. I click on the mix. Oh, no. Well, there's something wrong with my UI again. I don't know why it's doing that. There we go. Now, not Bob here is looking looking for some angles. Now we've got Aces getting a nice, nice firing line going now. And Aces mix at the back here are actually causing a lot of dramas for Cameron's here. They just need to a chill. Lot of they drama. have a three cap. Mm. They have a three cap and they're going to be up. You know, oh, Al right now. just did what you were suggesting. Do that pop tart there and eight shit from four mechs at once. And he's down to 63% very, what? very, 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 very quickly. Oh, it's because he's, he's, he's getting stuck on terrain. No, yeah. Outlaw, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Yeah, he gets stuck on the rock here. He needs to jump a little bit further back. Hug the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> now, Skippy Nibbles. I need to check his arm. Oh, oh that's that, that, really open on the torso. Oh, look at this. Aces are not even going to wait. They've got the cap nope. advantage. They've got the little map control advantage, but they don't care. They're just going to take the fight here to Cameron. Zor with peeps. That's a that's a scary position, dude. That is a very scary he spot. He got a free trade. What? Yep. Oh no, Zor got hammered though. Uh, in the uh, same token. A little token. bit, you know, but yeah. he, that, you know, that was. Aces need to go. Aces need to go right now. Their flea just got taken out of the back there uh, by uh, Stuff Your Fear. They need to kind of get in here really quickly. Lungbart is getting shredded. Lungbart is trying to get away here. Cannot. Lungbart is dead. Yeah. Skippy <laughs> Nibbles is almost dead. Oh, Bob's coming in. Bob sends here blood he now. He's taking he's, his near fresh mad cat in for death. The big burst plus DPS. Oh, yeah. yeah. This, this, big this, burst this, DPS. One down, two down. Oh, hang on. What? Bob down. One down, two down, Bob down, and Ona down. Now, they need to turn around and deal with the Bushwhacker here and the Commando. Zul is, uh, I think and he's... And a fresh fire starter. Yeah, I think Zul's getting a lot of a lot of heat here. Oh, Bushwhacker down. Oh, very quick kills here from Aces Wild. Very, very quick. Very quick. Guys, the only glory is in the W. That's Fucking it. Fucking E&E and, e and go cap. Oh, stuff your fears. Just get managing, just managing to get away there, but it's not going to matter. So the Cameron's team have decided to back off uh, probably 30 seconds ago by the look of it and go do some capping, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough because the Ace Swalt uh, still have their lights. Well, one of them at least. Yeah, the Commando, mm. whereas Cameron's, they have both their lights. And yep. They're pretty fresh. I mean, a 40% yeah, yeah. Commando might as well be 100% Atlas. And all you do now is aces is control sigma, epsilon, and theta because they're nice and close to each other. Well, close enough to each other that you don't have to worry about it. Sit a fat mech like the Mauler. There you go. Sit him on theta there. It doesn't matter if he dies. He'll just delay the cap for a minute and you'll win on tickets. And you win on the tickets. Well, there you go. Ace is wild coming back with a very brutal reply after last drop. Very, very, very aggressive there. Now, Legend of Kelda here is maybe going to surprise. He's 
Stop yeah. your fear here, who's running in circles Stop. rather than just being a little yep. bit careful what? and waiting. Uh oh! Why are you doing this? Uh oh! <laughs> uh oh! But hang on. Oh, he's gonna fight him. Yo, he is. He's. Uh, he get, well, I mean, you can't dick on Ganokia. I mean, it's not gonna be able to do a hell of a lot about it, right? Dirty fucking commandos. Yeah, dirty commando boys. Right. Running around. Playing the, uh, the old Marco Polo game, but. Elder's uh, yeah, waiting for him. get a three cap, so. Oh, one more shot on the Commando CT here. But Kelda is also nearly... Well, he's halved, but he's still got the good side of his weapons. He's... He's slowly bringing that... Bleeding that CT down, so. Slowly, yep. Oh, no! Oh, no! He's running the open! Oh, no! He, oh, he doesn't... Oh, no! He does actually uh, get killed for it! He does get killed for it! I don't know if you can run up here. Oh, no, you can't. Maybe he got stuck again here. In this weird-ass floating, moving rock thing that... A bit weird. Never seen that before. And Amarok here in the fire starter is running around, uh, trying his best to uh, acquire some yeah, ticket points. Unfortunately, but unfortunately, they're just—he's not gonna be able to do enough because they can just park max on the caps at this point. Yep, and that's what aces are doing. They're just parking the cap. I mean, the Mauler didn't even go to Sigma to worry about it. But like, you know what? We can just chill. We got this. All good. And they're gonna pull out a win for their efforts. I feel like that was another game that could have gone very differently just in, the, in, in, a, in a short period of time. Oh, 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 oh. We got a fight on Kappa. Oh, Come what? <laughs> oh, hang on. Surely not. Yeah, no, we do. <laughs> the commando. Oh, hang on. I mean, the Commando looks looks a bit weak, right? But 62% in a Commando might as well be about 4,000% of armor still. So. Yeah, yeah, that's three Kodiaks. Yeah. <laughs> and he's nearly open leg, actually. Amarok is nearly open leg, but... Ah, that's game. <laughs> the Dickens, ah, the Dickens. Run out, run out. They have run out of time. What do we have on the damage number front here? Oh, oh wow. Uh, pretty even spread from their uh, AC2 max, actually, except for the MX90. Uh, he did a little bit lower, but uh, overall, uh, good cohesion, and I guess who they were shooting, you know, from Aces Wild. Yep. Uh, Camerons, the Commando standing out at 502, Cyclops at 429, and the Bushwhacker. You know, I actually didn't see the Bushwhacker because uh, I just wasn't he was actually kept video, quite but busy, still... but somehow got yeah, a lot of damage out. out. Yeah. You know, that's uh, that's pretty respectable. Yeah, he was well, I suppose after the flea got uh, got taken out, he didn't have anyone munching his rear end anymore, yeah. so he could kind of <laughs> don't need to deal with it anymore. I could turn around and start shooting because I think. At that point, aces were up in the middle, so he would have actually had a bit of crossfire opportunity, perhaps. That was also an eight minute forty one second DACA game, so that's a, that's interesting. It's a long, that's a long game. Like yeah. on Terra with a lot of DACA, generally doesn't go. <laughs> it generally doesn't go that long. Now I don't know if these guys are going to be floating around through a chat or not. Let's see. Let me just check with them. See if they want to. All right, cool. I'll jump over to Comp Discord, mate. All right. Sorry, we're jumping over to Discord, guys. Um, I use mine when I'm hosting the streams because it's just easier uh, with the Discord stuff. Wait for these guys to get here. Okay, there we go. G'day, fellas. Hello. Hey, 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 what's cracking? Yo, yeah, guys. How was, uh, how was Blood League, uh, your first, uh, well, the first drop of the league? <laughs> the first drop of Blood League spread lots of blood and butter. I don't even know where I'm going with that. But hey, good games. That was, that was awesome. <laughs> blood, yeah, blood, yeah, blood and butter. I had no idea yeah. we the very first drop. Yeah, no, I, that is the first, I believe it is the first one off the rank today. Okay. So oh, everyone nice. else is tomorrow. Um, well, tomorrow for me early, and then I think it's like afternoon <laughs> for you guys and then evening for the EUs because um, there's a lot of yeah. EU crossover teams um, with US. So yeah, about 18 hours, not 17 bad, hours from bad. now or something like that. Yeah, I'll be in bed. I'm not getting up for that. So anyway, how, was, right. uh, how was it? What do you think uh, of the... 
format. I, I dig like it, the but format. then again, I, I love just shooting mechs in private lobbies. I love shooting mechs. I love competition. But it's nice to have a little 7v7. I don't remember a previous 7v7. I know there's mm. been a lot of 6v6s, 8v8s, 12v12, 10v10, 4v4. So 7v7 is kind of fun. You kind of have to make do with a little bit weird stuff, but it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember 7v7 either. So it is something. I was thinking unique. that this morning as well. I don't think there's been a 7. <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, no, I don't think there has. 6, 8, 2, tricky. common, 3s even, but yeah, not 7. Yeah, it's not, tricky, not like you know. Seven. Because in the bigger leagues, or bigger leagues, you know, it's one more player, 8v8, I mean, losing one player changes a lot. You know, like, you, you know, it's, you have to be a lot more aware of what's going on because you don't have someone, you know, potentially on the left or right, you know, playing a different role. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think the biggest thing in sevens, with the way it's structured here, when you have a limited number of types of mechs, so like, especially with, you when you only have one light mech or one medium mech, it, though, that's, that cap game is really really careful on there and that's kind of what happened to us on that rubelite match when our light mechs uh when our uh, medium mech overheated and got exploded we kind of had to make a move because we lost all of our speed to cap the point on mm -hmm. a big map so we're like well i guess we gotta go yeah and it was it was a bad push <laughs> but i mean that's we had to do something we couldn't wait back and then lose on caps that way so we're like we're gonna go down shooting probably gonna lose you guys had a really good position on top of that hill um so we just couldn't do anything about that and we couldn't gank your lights, but hey, that, that was well played. Well well done on that yeah, one. Yeah, I saw you guys decide to just push it and hope for the best at the end there. Exactly. Rube. You, use what armor we had left and go right on in. <laughs> right. Rube and I was, couldn't even was, aim down. <laughs> was really fun to watch. Uh, how much have you guys practiced that, Epic? Uh, uh, okay. We've practiced, I think we did Rubelite about four times, something like really? that. Really? Yeah, that yep. that was a that was you guys played it right, you know, that was a that was a good watch. Thank you. Yeah, not, not that I, you did it, not Bob. No, no, no. I mean, you guys, you guys got screwed kind of early on. You guys just, just trying to tuck jokes. that in the back there. Hey, Bob, you didn't practice more. Do that, <laughs> no, man. Next week, mistakes. slave them, mate. Slave them in the cauldron, you know. <laughs> <laughs> when you watch the tape, when you watch the tape, you know, you'll you'll see, you know, the little uh, mistakes, you know, that led to that, you know, but uh. Oh yeah, that, yeah. That was I, a good drop. Yeah, I, I saw our uh, heavy mech uh, stepped out just like two feet too far and got nailed in the back. Our overheat happened. Then I accidentally screwed up our uh, drop lances, but nobody's worried about that. They just don't tell anyone. It's great. It was exactly as we planned, but not. Uh, got, I think he got <laughs> stuck on the wall, like was backing up to try and get out of it, and didn't realize that there was he was literally backing into the wall, and you can't. You get stuck, and then you get yeah, deleted. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens. You exactly. got four guys looking at you, and you're trying to go away from them. It's not going to last very long. <laughs> exactly. He's like, well, this is my life now, <laughs> or what's left of it. <laughs> yeah. That was good. So, any other comments? How do you think it's going to go for the rest of your seasons, and how are your units going? I I think it's going to be fantastic. I mean, I think this division is incredibly competitive. I know uh, AW and Cameron and BTV Highlander Dragoons, Cameron Highlanders, whatever you guys call yourselves now, all three of them, all together. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, I've been trying to remember old cast. I'm not going to remember. I know I'm not. It, it's Highlander Dragoons, but I keep saying Cameron's Highlanders or BTD. I'm just like, it's not that. It's not Blackthorn Dragoons. It's not Cameron's Highlanders. It's Highlander Dragoons. Dang it. And I keep on putting it wrong whenever I put some of my videos for them. I'm like, dang it. God dang. I'll but say no, the same I, thing I, the I goat today. I don't know which letters it is. I can't remember the, the order of the letters today. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you throw a couple letters in, it's cool. <laughs> no, but I, I think that this division is super, super tight. I know uh, AW and uh, Highlander Dragoons, we scream each other fairly often. I think we're extremely even skilled. Uh, same thing with uh, Sky Range of Terra. We're extremely even skilled. We used to play each other all the freaking time. Um, we have one wild card in this division. We haven't played them yet, so that'll be interesting to see how they go. Uh, but no, I think I, 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 think guess. This... I think I can guess who the wild card is. <laughs> I think you can guess too. There, there's something about a rule book involved. I don't know. <laughs> Say it yeah, so. I'm, I'm I interested to watch that match tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I'm I'm interested because I think all these teams are really even. Uh, I yeah. just don't know about them yet. So it'll be cool to see how they play. And if they make that competitive, this is going to be a crazy competitive division. Yeah, it's always that hot, though. Too. That, that mid, The middle meet is always generally pretty hotly contested. And uh, like, like I said a few yeah. times, not that I don't like like casting the Div A. I like the, uh, the methodic nature, <laughs> the execution. But Div C, there's always just... 
Dude, Div C, no, Div C, there's always something going on. You just, you don't know what's going to happen. You just don't know. Like, it's always <laughs> something going on. You can't, I can't come in with, oh, yeah, I know, I know what these teams are going to do this drop or I know maybe how this is going to be played. Doesn't happen. Doesn't Obviously, happen. I, don't, I don't, co I don't co-cast a lot. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, sun, moon, stars, all line kind of thing. You know, throw Jupiter in there too. Yeah. But this, <laughs> this, this, this was a lot of fun, uh, because you can see that, no, we don't know what you guys are going to do, but it's clear that you guys are practicing. It's clear you guys at least understand, you know, the angles, you know, and where the strong positions on the maps are, you know, so it's, it's, it's literally, you know, throw your hands up. I have no idea what they're going to do. They can do anything and they can do anything pretty well. Hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, everyone in every position is decently strong. It's not like you ha picked up a random uh, pile off the street and said, you're going to play a uh, medium mech today. And it's like, okay, daddy. But no, no, everyone's really good in what they do here. So it's really fun to watch, you know, even when I'm sitting back in the big old fat assault mech, watching our lights duke it out with their lights, being like, maybe they can get that? Let's pull it back to be safe. Or, no, I think we can pressure that. So it's, it's really fun to, you know, watch that skill and, you know, trade at range or with, with, with other evenly skilled people. It's fun. I love it. Awesome. Yeah, we never know if there's going to be a, a trade or we've got to wish for a brawl or... So keep yeah, that's why you never. Sure. I never know. I never know casting this div. I I know there could be brawler, or it could be ranger, it could be a mix, and you just until you get into the game, you don't know. You just I truly I can't I can't predict it. You never can. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's great. It's great. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, well, thanks, lads, for uh, jumping by for a quick chat. I wish you guys the best for the rest of the season and uh, all your other matches. Absolutely appreciate. It. And once again, thank you for castings, and uh, hope to be watching more of you guys. My pleasure, guys. GG, guys. GG. GG's. Beautiful. Well, that rounds that part out. Um, now we have, I'll quickly look at the tournament schedule uh, for tomorrow. Let me just dig that up to show everybody. Now, I don't think they've all been entered um, in terms of who's casting what. Um, no, it hasn't, but let me. How am I going to do this? I haven't even looked at the caster schedule. I know our match versus KDCM tomorrow is being casted by Nate. I'm not sure of the co-caster or if there is one. Uh, this is not going to be our first match as a team since 2019, so that'll be fun. Mm. Yeah, I think I've got the thing working here. Okay, no, it's the wrong screen. Okay. Hold on a second, lads. And it's not over the screen there. Okay, there we go. So... These are the games that we have coming up tomorrow. Uh, let me zoom in on... Can I zoom in on that? Yeah, there we go. So that's what's uh, set up. This is the one, obviously, we've just done today. And these are all the other ones. Uh, when I say tomorrow, eh, it completely depends on where the bloody hell you live, right? So <laughs> tomorrow for you might not be tomorrow for me or vice versa. But that's the bulk of what's coming up uh, in the next 18 to 24 hours, uh, give or take, over the next, uh, over the next few days. So, yeah. Tune in, guys. Um, there'll be more casts. Uh, casts. They'll be booked in. Um, there are a few more guys that are jumping on. Um, just hasn't been updated because, you know, Ghosts. Again, time zones. Ghost is asleep. So I'm sure he will get to updating a few of these tomorrow. Once the other casters jump on board um, and all that sort of stuff. If you guys have any feedback for the league, uh, please post it in the Blood Leagues channel on the Discord. Also, don't forget that we are doing um, a lot of the Cauldron work um, comes through the MWO Comp Discord and every other channel as well. You know, we try not to miss anything wherever we look. But get in there, give the feedback. Um, it's it's all appreciated. But yeah, get in, support the league, guys. You know, it's, a, it's another good league. I think it's going to be fun. As a few teams come back, the game's population is going up. You know, the numbers, don't you, Mr. Goat, I think? uh yeah yeah um i'm weird and i'm following it but we <laughs> are i think last i checked we're gaining uh i think it's something you know like 500 players you know every other day or we were up until uh end of last month i haven't looked this month yet since this month just started i check every week uh but we topped or we were just under 27k which hasn't happened for a few years not bad actually not bad not bad so tell your friends tell your mates um and yeah, probably a little bit too late to get your team involved uh, for this league, but there will be more coming later on in the year. So um, I am going to flick over to my channel 
um take you all over there shortly and uh yeah we'll do some drops this afternoon i don't know what the hell's happening yet we'll work it all out but for the comp side of things thank you guys for tuning in goat thank you for showing up a very last minute for me today mate i appreciate it yeah yeah no worries good um, night chat yeah and uh yeah guys we'll see you well mw leagues we'll see you in the next 24 hours uh three four five six or seven times i have no idea but thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you guys later peace out